When you tell to someone that you have bought an old Land Rover, they'll probably say you're stupid. However, as I like to test my luck, I have bought this one back in January and have driven it every day for six months. Here is what happened. So before we get started, I wanted to say that this Land Rover was the cheapest one available on Marketplace when I bought it and you could definitely tell. It cost me 2,300 uh, pounds and it was completely neglected. It had mismatched tires that were cracked, the interior was filthy, I had no idea when it was last serviced, but for the last six months it has never let me stranded, which is the exact opposite of what most people are going to tell you for old, old Land Rovers. Uh, when I got it, I immediately started modifying it instead of fixing it, which is uh, what every clever man would do. Uh, but it worked well for the first two months. After that, some issues started to arise. The first one was the right uh, front wheel bearing. As soon as we got finished from an off-road trip, it decided to uh, give up. There were some loud clanking noises and you could see the wheel uh, wobble about. The same exact th thing happened with the right uh, rear wheel bearing about a month later. Uh, but other than that, those were the only two occasions where I thought that uh, this thing was going to leave me on the road. I do not blame it, to be honest. Uh, this, uh, this car comes standard with some 29 inch tires it now has uh, 33s and wheel spacers which push the wheel outwards which then puts more strain on the wheel bearings also someone forgot to put the hub cup on the on the wheel bearings so as soon as i drove through water the bearings got full of water they were rusted out so they gave up uh, i could also hear them whining but I didn't change them, so it is also my fault. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I didn't really have any major issues. The engine has been fine. I can tell it is a bit tired, it is smoky, and when it's cold, it is having a bit of a harder time to, to get started. But it works fine. It is running 1.2 bar of boost instead of one bar. I have also increased the fuel on the fuel pump to get more, a bit more uh, power and uh, it seems to be running fine. Underneath, I have replaced the rear A-frame ball joint because it was a bit noisy. Uh, the front steering ball joints need replacing because they are, uh, the boots are torn and they are also a bit noisy. But other than that, uh, underneath the car is pretty much fine. Uh, and ball joints are actually cheap stuff so the all four ball joints for the front are 80 euros and the ball joint for the rear was 30 euros most of the issues with this car were uh, small but annoying stuff for example the driver's side door lock decided to let go so i cannot lock or unlock the car from the driver's side i did manage to repair it but it broke again, so uh, <laughs> the only way to get in the car now is from, if you wanna lock it, is from the rear door. So I lock these two doors by hand and the rear door with the key and I get inside from the rear door, which has to end soon. Uh, but yeah, I need to find a whole new lock. The door handles uh, on the driver's side, the door won't open from the outside, which is also a very common issue with these cars. Uh, the stereo will switch off if I, if I uh, turn the volume up beyond to uh, 26. Uh, so yes, yeah, small but annoying stuff. Other than that, um, the car has been perfectly reliable. I have been driving it every single day for six months with, uh, without any issues. I have been taking it off-road and I have not been very kind to it. And it doesn't seem to care. Now, if I was going to, to undertake a big trip with it, I would definitely go through the transmission and uh, do some preventative maintenance just to make sure it won't leave me stranded. But yeah, other than that, 
it has been perfectly reliable. It cost me 2,000 uh, euros to, uh, to buy and with all the modifications, I have still not arrived at the price of a used unmodified Land Cruiser. So in my opinion, it is a pretty good buy. Thank you for watching this quick video. If you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.